All right, the next step is coming up with a system to collect email addresses so we can put them on our MailChimp account and then send newsletters. Very important. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do that uh, using WordPress. So here is our super basic website diagram. And what we wanna do is connect WordPress to our MailChimp account. And to do so, we're gonna install an opt-in box plugin. First thing, what's an opt-in box? Well, simply, it's a little form that allows you to collect email addresses, so they go into your newsletter system. Here's uh, one example of a very popular blog called Wait But Why, which I really recommend reading because it's pretty fun, awesome, and they have really in-depth articles. They have 185,000 people on their newsletter. So every time they have a new post, guess what? They send an email and a notification to 185,000 people, which means even if a small percentage opens that email, they got lots of views on their blog, which they can monetize by ads, selling merchandise, or whichever way they want. That's the powerful thing about newsletters. And important to have one of these opt-in boxes as soon as possible. And then we have another popular blog called Smart Passive Income, which is great for uh, people that want to start online businesses and understand how they can make money through affiliate uh, systems, through blogging, through podcasting. And they have a newsletter with 70,000 people. In, and their opt-in box is at the end of each blog post. If you click here, get started, you can see you have a little pop-up window where they collect your name and email address as well, which goes to their newsletter. On my own website, growmedia.com, same thing. If you go to our blog, there's a big box here that says sign up for the Groom on newsletter. And on our test website, blissbook.com, that's what I'm going to show you how to do, the same thing. This is a blog post and here on the right-hand side, on the widget area, uh, we, we're going to add one of these boxes. Now the steps to do this, the first thing we're going to have to do is create a MailChimp account. Now you can use different newsletter systems um, like Aweber and Constant Contact, but the one I've been using for the longest time is MailChimp and it's a very popular solution. Now it's free up to like, if I think you have 2000 email addresses. Beyond that, if you wanna send email blasts bigger than that, you're gonna have to pay. Um, so let's do that. The first thing we're gonna do is create a MailChimp account. Then we'll install the plugin. Then we'll have to enter a couple of codes for the plugin to connect to, the, to MailChimp. And then we'll install the opt-in box in the blog. So uh, people, we can start collecting email addresses as soon as possible. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is create a MailChimp account so all you have to do is go to MailChimp.com click sign up for free and create an account fantastico the next thing will create a MailChimp list in my case I have several lists already so I'm not gonna create a new one but if you go to lists and then you create new list it'll, it'll uh, guide you through all the steps of creating a, a new list and then the next thing we have to do is install the opt-in plugin in WordPress. To install our opt-in plugin in WordPress, let's go to our WordPress admin area. Then we go to plugins, add new. We're going to type opt-in cat. Then we select our MailChimp forms by opt-in cat, install now. Activate the plugin. And then we're going to create our first form by going to this new menu, all opt-in forms, add new. Let's give it a name. In this case, it's going to be a widget that goes in the sidebar. So I'm going to call this just sidebar. And go to sidebar widgets. We've got post boxes, pop-ups. The one we're going to install is going to look like this, right? On the sidebar. Go save. So now we have that saved, but let's go and select, change the layout, right? We don't like that layout. Let's go to a sidebar widget, select it, select it. And now we can actually change everything, all the CSS, the look and all of that. We're gonna leave it like this right now. But to connect it, we need to get our API key from MailChimp. To get that API key, we need to go to our profile on MailChimp, click on profile, then go to extras, API keys, scroll down to create your API key if you don't have one already, you can click here create API key. Once you have it, all you have to do is copy and paste that very long code here. 
Once it gets recognized, you can select which list do you want to save the email addresses. In this case, I'm going to say Grumo Web Visitors. So every time somebody signs into my newsletter, it's going to go to that list. And then you can select where does it redirect the page once somebody clicks Submit. You can select this, any of your pages basically. Let's say that in this case, we just want to redirect to our blog. Once you have that, click Save. We selected that. Now we can place this opt-in box in our sidebar. So we have to go to Appearance, Widgets, scroll down to Opt-in Cat Sidebar Widget, drag that to the area of our sidebar we want that to appear, select the form, in this case it's going to be the sidebar form, save, and then when we go our, our blog, just click here on blog. On the right hand side, we should have our opt in box. Hey, did you enjoy this video? If you want to see more like this, just subscribe here. If you want a free gift, click here. Yeah. Which one is going to be the one you click?